Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm gonna climb a harvester. Today I'll be climbing a 90 foot harvester. Now this harvester is a little bit taller than most of the harvesters you'll find around here. Um, most of them will be around oh, 70 to 80 feet tall. Now this one is a little bit higher. So I'm gonna take you up on top. I'm gonna show you inside the harvester and I'll show you what it looks like around up there. And the ladder's gone. Now luckily for me, I'm a king at improvising. Hopefully that'll reach. And it still doesn't reach. Okay everybody, here I am. The camera is above the ground by 100 feet. You just kind of pan the camera around, show you what it looks like from up here. That's the highway right there. There's the barn. Hopefully it looks as high to you as it looks to me. Got a bunch of calves running around down there. Uh, I just missed it. One was having a ball, he was running around having fun. Here's the arc that comes from the silo chute that launches the hay up into the harvester. As you can see, it comes up from the side of the silo and it comes up and around and it blows the hay directly down into the top of the silo. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm closing the harvester. So what I have to do is I have to grab this and yank up on it and just lift it right up on out of there. Now I know this one looks like really rusty and stuff. Well it is rusty. But it hasn't been released. Been placed in a few dozen years. Now that I have taken out the silo chute, I've pulled it up and I've locked it out. I'm gonna stick the camera down in and you guys can see the, the hay and how high it is. Now this is a 90 foot harvester. If you look at the rings on the side and you count down each of the rings, each ring stands for five feet. And if I count correctly, I count about 20 feet. I don't know what you guys can see compared to what I can see. And there's the roof. Um, so the hay is about 20 feet down. That'd be about 70 feet worth of silage beneath me. Now if I look here, here's the bags that keep the pressure inside the silo from making it collapse in on itself. So when I close the door, when we start feeding out, those bags will inflate to offset the pressure in the harvester. Now when you're feeding or when you're filling the harvester, you want to lift those bags up by these cables right here. Now I can yank on those. I don't know if you'll be able to see it right now, but if I yank on them, each of those lines on the bag, they would pull the bag up so that you could fill the harvester up a little bit further. Okay, now that I've shut everything up, I can show around what's off in the distance, a little bit more. So there's town, there's the buildings, there's my feet, for those of you who care. Okay, now here I have the second door on the, on the harvester. We open up this door to relieve any pressure before we open up the top door. So, and it kind of serves as an escape route for any air or dust or anything that goes into the harvester when we're filling it. All right, now here's the har arc on the harvester a little bit closer. As you can see, it goes up right inside and there's the top door on the harvester. Now, I closed it, so you can't really see it anymore or whatever. Okay, so here's the buildings. Now, here's a, one of our wagons. Yeah, that's a really far way away. All right, I'm gonna stick my feet over the edge. So it kind of puts it in perspective on like how high up we are. I know we're high up, but you know what? But yeah. Now if I look down, there's the truck and the blower. If I zoom in. Bet you can't count all the steps. 
So this is just for any of you who wonder what it looks like on top of one of these blue tombstones, as they're called. There's a bunch of calves over there. Sitting there chilling. Now if I look off into the distance more, you can see our water tower. It's about a mile away. And you can see a truck coming down the highway. And so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this little perspective video. I'm not going to show my face again because that would require me taking off the neck strap and there's no way you're going to get me to take off the neck strap. <laughs> if any of you are wondering how this is done, I took a leash, I took a whisk, I hooked them together, I took steel wool and stuffed it inside the whisk and then lit it on fire. I whipped it around my head as hard as I possibly could and that makes the pictures you see. If you want to see more, go to the link that is in the video or go to the link that is in the description of the video. What you're about to see is a harvester collapsing on another one. Now the clip we have here is submitted by username 10280111981. I know, it's a mouthful. Now according to him, what happened was it fed ununiformly, so it caused it to collapse. Instances such as that aren't common, however they aren't rare also. So anyway, that basically sums up this video. Thank you for watching guys.